Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough, is Dr. Breakthrough. I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. And I'm prescribing to make this a December to remember. See, I'm making this a December to remember because I was created by the creator to create, to have dominion and not to be dominated. Genesis 1, 26 through 28, subdue it and have dominion. Psalm 8, 6, thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. And as Adam named the animals, I named my days, my months, my years, my life. Genesis 2, 19, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. I'm making my December, December to remember, because in God's holy courtroom, I've been declared innocent, although proven guilty, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, and also 2 Corinthians 5, 21, for he hath made him to be sin for us. Galatians 3, 13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. I'm making this a December to remember because there are many contributing factors, but there's only one deciding factor, and I am that deciding factor. God gave me a free will. We were not born winners nor losers, but rather choosers, so we can choose to win. I'm making this a December to remember because sometimes it only takes one person, one decision, or one action to change your life. I am that person. I have decided, and I will take action, Ezekiel 2230. I am making this a December to remember because I reap what I sow by having what I say, thus I'm committed to sowing better seeds or words so I can reap a better harvest. I declare that everything good that can happen will happen and it will happen at the best possible time. I call those things which be not as though or until they are, Romans 4, 17, C. I commit to passionately proclaiming and persistently practicing Mark eleven twenty three, where it says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. And at the end of the verse, it says, He shall have whatsoever he saith. Joshua 1, 8, This book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Job twenty two twenty eight. Thou shalt decree a thing, it shall be established unto thee. I'm making this a December to remember because you will work through me to make my words flesh, just like the original word became flesh. John 1, 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. I know that things are easier said than done, but I also know that things will never Never get done until they are first said, Proverbs 18, 21. I'm making this a December to remember because I'm exercising courage to conceive in spite of me, boldness to believe because of thee, and taking action to achieve so others can see. I will not allow what others cannot see to stop me from doing and manifesting what I can or have seen. Genesis 37, 5 through 11, you know, Joseph dreamed and his brothers hated him, so forth. I'm making this a December to remember because I refuse to walk in denial, doubt, or depression, or even despair, but rather divine deliverance. 1 John 3, 8, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Psalm 18, 19, he delivered me because he delighted in me. I'm making this a December to remember because I'm focused on growing through whatever I go through so I will ensure my breakthrough. Isaiah 54, 3, thou shalt break forth. 1 John 5, 4, whatsoever born of God overcometh the world. Also, I'm making this a December to remember because I choose to invest my time in finding and fueling potential in others, myself in situations, instead of spending time finding fault. Mark 7, 2, they found fault. Proverbs 27, 21, as a finding pot to silver, so is a man to his praise. I'm making this a December to remember because I walk in divine favor. Thus, I can expect and will experience sudden spiritual, physical, relational, emotional, intellectual, business, and financial breakthroughs. Psalm 5, 12, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, for thou can pass him as with a shield. I call this my favor shield. Psalm 66, 12, uh, it says, but thou, the end of the verse, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. I'm making this a December to remember because I'm paying attention to the subtle clues and I'm taking the proper cues, Proverbs 22, 3, that will keep me from experiencing bad consequences. However, if I fail, my God has and in fact is himself the cure. Psalm 37, 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Though he fall, verse 24, the Lord shall uphold him with his hand. I'm making this a December to remember because the giant in front of me is only a midget compared to the God who's for me and actually in me. And he may use giants to bring the giant slayer out of me. 1 Samuel 17, 50. 
Psalm 56, 9, God is for me. And 1 John 4, 4, greater is he that is in you. I'm making this a December to remember because I'm letting the greatness that's been put aside of me stick out. Philippians 2, 13, God which worketh in you both the will and to do. Also Psalm 18, 35, thy gentleness hath made me great. I'm making this a December to remember because my God already has, Isaiah 45, 2, I'll go before thee. <laughs> Isaiah 48, 17, I'm the Lord which teacheth thee to profit. Ephesians 1, 4, according, 1, 4, excuse me, according, as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Ephesians 2, 10, that we should walk in them. And I'm making this a December to remember because I submit my natural to your super so you can make this even more than a December to remember. You can and will make it a December I can't forget. Ephesians 3, 20, unto him that's able. And I like to say, and about to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Psalm 81, 10, Psalm 84, 11. Open your mouth wide, and he said, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk uprightly. So my brother, my sister, claim this every day, my friend, maybe just parts of it per day, but listen, do it. And uh, I want to give you a 24-7 breakthrough information three-minute line. Call 646-653-1831. 646 653 And check out www.21. It's 21 Day Breakthrough Challenge. Dot com. This is Dr. Stan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Breakthrough, www.drbreakthrough.com or www.drbreakthroughministries.com. Pray for us. We'll pray for you. Peace, breakthrough, and increase.